Uncle Joe. The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Without further ado, we would like to proceed to hand over the floor to counsels for Mr. Nguyen Chia to put questions to witness Rucham Ton if they would wish to do so. We have been informed by the AV booth officers that there is a technical problem and we cannot uh, display documents up on the screens yet. During this time, parties to the proceedings are advised to uh, be prepared for that. You may put questions that uh, can be put uh, and relevance to the document that uh, need, need to be put up on the screen should uh, be deferred to a, a later stage when the technical glitch is fixed. Council Son Arun, good morning, Maître Mr. President, Sonarou. good morning, Your Honours, and very good morning, Mr. P. Poon. I am Son Arun, representing Noon Chia with my Nunchia colleague. I have a few questions uh, to put to you as follows. Mr. P. Poon, you told the prosecutors on the 25th of July 2012 that uh, you saw the revolutionary flag and youth magazines. My question is, uh, did you ever read or rather read, or have you really seen the magazines, and how many copies of them have you seen? Response. I have read uh, them because the materials were distributed to us. When they were distributed, uh, we were supposed to read uh, the whole books and then kept them aside. Question. Question. Could you tell the court uh, the type of revolutionary flags. Was it in the form of um, a magazine, a journal, and was uh, the text typed or handwritten? Response. What I saw was that uh, on the cover there was a revolutionary flag and youth magazines. They made into books, uh, books with the the title as indicated: the revolutionary flag and revolutionary youth magazines. With regard to the color. I don't remember the detail, but I think uh, the the flag was red. Question. I asked you another question as well, but you didn't uh, answer. Uh, the question was uh, whether the text uh, in that book uh, was written or hand or typed. Response. On the cover page, I do not know whether it was uh, the uh, handmade uh, work, but it appears to me that uh, 
the cover page the picture on the cover page was uh, drawn by hand rather than by printing question what about the text the text inside you said you read them was it uh, handwritten or typed? Response. It was printed before it could be made into books. Question, you read uh, the Revolutionary and Youth uh, magazines, I mean, the Revolutionary Flag and Youth magazines. In which year did you read them? Response. I read them from 1970. Seven. I don't remember whether it was early 1977 or late 1977, uh, but I remember that the copies uh, were distributed uh, to all ministries. I read about the movement the actual movement within the country. I remember reading the parties building and other detailed aspects of that in the book. And I read uh, the comments made by visiting guests and delegates in Cambodia during that time. Question. Question. Do you recall who wrote the magazines and who was actually the author of these magazines? Response. I don't know who Réponse. wrote the revolutionary flag magazines and the youth flag magazines. I don't know. Council, thank you. La Défense, merci. In your response to the prosecutor, after the 17th of uh, March, 1970, you mentioned about the spacious area in the northeast. Uh, could you please bo be more precise on that? Response. I was referring to the wider liberated zone during the sessions. We were told uh, that in Ratanakiri and Mandolkiri, the areas uh, were completely liberated. In Prevahir, uh, the area in Prevahir was also completely liberated. So uh, we were told that uh, the liberated zone now was expanded uh, widely and there would be no further obstacle. There was no 
area left uh, to be under control uh, of the enemy because we controlled uh, the whole area already. Thank you. Also, you told the court that at that time there were American bombardment, heavily American bombardment. Do you know the reason for such a bombardment? Were there any infantry, American infantry, on the ground as well as the Vietnamese troops? Sur le terrain, en plus des troupes vietnamiennes. On this point, the bombardment started in 1962. Uh, les bombardements ont commencé en 1962. It was dropped on the residential villages where people were living, namely the name of a Nyang, now it is known as Nyang Commune. Dans la commune de Nyang. I don't know what happened to that uh, village now. Maybe that uh, territory is now part of the uh, Vietnamese uh, territory. Those seven or eight villages now belong to Vietnam. I refer to the land where we did the farming on. That's point number one. Ça, c'est la première chose. And since the bombardment also continued Ensuite, in 64, 65, through to 67, 68, and 69. And the bombardment was even intensified in 69. I here refer to the bombardment on the Cambodian territory that is a part of the Rotanakiri province in Loa village. In uh, Nyang village, village de Nyang. in Tranga village, half village of it was Tranga destroyed, and Kon village was Kon half uh, destroyed as well. And Mui village was also destroyed in half. De so these uh, four or five villages were destroyed. During the 1968 and 69, even 1969, the rice field had been bombarded heavily. We did not know why the, they were angry and Nous dropped uh, those bombs. There were various uh, types of uh, planes, including C-130. And they dropped the bombs at those uh, villages. Des sur ces villages. Kettles, in one day, more than 1,000 kettles were strafed and uh, died détails, uh, in the rice field. Uh, en une journée, I did not know the reason of such a anger by the uh, American Je ne comprenais pas les raisons and why they uh, dropped uh, those bombs. De la part des Américains, ni pourquoi ils lançaient ces bombes. In fact, uh, starting from 1964, villagers uh, did not stay in the village. They were afraid, so they went and stayed in the jungle because of a such a heavy bombardment. Thank you. Question. Merci. You just stated that you did not know the reason for the bombardment. And later on, have you come aware of uh, the reason that is at a later stage, not at the time of uh, the bombardment? At that time, the local government had not yet been formed. 
as we did not have any conflict with the uh, American government. So please uh, tell us if you know the reason for such bombardment at a later stage. Answer. Later on, I knew of uh, the reasons. Uh, number one was uh, for them to track down uh, the Viet Cong uh, troops. And uh, because they noticed that the uh, Vietnamese people residing along the uh, Vietnam Cambodian territory and took refuge in part of the Cambodian territory, that's why they dropped the bombs. Thank you. Before and uh, during the or after the uh, bombardment, did you ever see the uh, American infantry or the Vietnamese troops entering the Cambodian uh, territory? Response. In fact, uh, there was uh, no Viet Cong uh, troops uh, mixing en within fait, uh, the village. Il pas de troupes du Viet Cong uh, présents dans les villages. Previously, I said that there were North Vietnamese troops in 1963 and 64, but uh, they only uh, transited uh, through the territory and uh, they made it uh, as quietly as possible. They actually went uh, and transit through the forest as they gathered people to make a path through the jungle. Actually, it was initially just a, a foot path, but later sentier. on you could travel Au by début, bicycle through that sentier, path. Pour à pied, mais par la suite, on, on and uh, par they also used the path or trail to carry uh, rice for the soldier supply. Thank you. Pour ravitailler les soldats. La défense. When Merci. the uh, Americans bombarded the Cambodian territory, can you estimate how deep or how far was the bombardment uh, within the Rotanakiri province? Response. Where I lived, Initially, first they bombarded uh, to the south of the Seisan River. It was uh, rather deep inside the country, but I could not estimate how many kilometers. It uh, could be 10 to 15 kilometers further into the Cambodian territory or up to 30 kilometers. Also, the bombardment was in Bo Cao and Ban Long, which was deep, deep inside the Cambodian territory. Thank you. Merci. Look, say, Mr. Witness, you said you joined the revolution in 1963. At that time, did you know whether those who joined the revolution, including yourself, and were you armed, and were they all armed? Et les autres, étiez-vous armés? Answer. Réponse. When I joined the revolution in 1963, en 63, quand je suis entré dans la révolution, and up to I was armed only in late 1967. Here I only talked about myself. It was en piel. C'était a kind of gun. Un, un piel, un type de fusil. And then I carried a sixteenth. Puis ensuite j'avais un. Uh, in French, a trente-six. 
un 36. Et après, j'avais un... Rather, it's a 36. But as I stated, when I joined, uh, I did not uh, wear... I did not have any or carry any uh, weapon. Mais avant euh, cette date, je Only pas later on in 67 or 1968 Donc, that en I was 67, 68, j'ai reçu une arme. Because at that time the mobile unit was also armed and I was armed. À l'époque, les unités mobiles étaient armées. Étaient armées et moi aussi. Initially, my office did not have any weapons. Au début, mon bureau n'avait pas d'armes. But uh, Vietnamese troops who passed through uh, the area, they were exhausted and they wanted uh, some food. They wanted uh, pork or dog meat. So then they exchanged the meat uh, with their weapons. Pour des armes. And that's how it, it happens that we got into possession of uh, those weapons. Que nous avons eu des armes. So later on, uh, gradually, we were in a more possession of those weapons through the exchange Et with the Vietnamese troops. Et au fil du temps, avec les échanges avec les soldats vietnamiens, nous avons accumulé des armes. Question. Question. So those weapons, as uh, were armed by those who joined the revolution to the board of the Vietnamese Ces troops or by any, uh, uh, any other means. Is that correct? Et pas par d'autres moyens. Est-ce exact? Yes. Réponse. Oui. In Rotanakiri province, starting from 1968, à partir de we 1968, already had in po our position the our manually loaded guns. Fusils. So we made those uh, customized guns by ourselves uh, manually. Nous avons modifié ces fusils nous-mêmes. Thank you. Question. On the 26 of July Le 26 this year, juillet, in response to the prosecution, you said Son Sen, que Son Sen was the chief of the special zone. Était responsable de la zone spéciale. Can you clarify further? Was, was it him who Pouvez was in charge of the special zone si or was it somebody else? Qui était responsable de la zone spéciale ou quelqu'un d'autre? Response. Réponse. I think it could be mistaken. I did not uh, say Sunset was a special zone. It was actually Von Wade, who was the chief of the special zone. Avait la responsabilité de cette zone. Son Sen was actually in Son charge Sen of military since he had been in Ratanakiri province. First, the mobile unit, and then he moved to the Kampong Thom battlefield. Il, uh, rendu au champ de bataille de Kampong Thom. Thank you. Question. You also informed the court that in 1972, you accompanied uh, Noon Chia to Samlot. Before you accompanied him, where were you? Avant de because you also informed the chamber Car that you were the bodyguard of Paul Paul. Paul. Du corps de Paul Paul. And how come you instead accompanied donc, Noon Chia to Samlot? Regarding this point, Nunchi, Pol Pot, and Kiss and Pond were together at the time. And because I was there too, and sometimes I accompany Pol Pot, and at the time I accompany Om Nunchi. And that was in 1972. Question. When you accompanied Nunchi through some load, Quand can you recall whether it was a mission? Vous vous si that is his official mission, 
de oh, what mission was, uh, officielle the de on his journey? Quel était l'objectif de ce voyage à Samland? Answer. I already Réponse. replied earlier that I accompanied him to carry out his task. Que je l'ai accompagné pour l'aider à s'acquitter de ses tâches. At the west and the southwest zones. And also Dans he went to work in the northwest zone. Il est aussi As allé à la zone. That's what I described earlier. J'ai déjà expliqué cela. Let me uh, go back a little bit. Question. Revenons un peu. Uh, When là. the Americans uh, conducted heavy bombardment in Watanakiri, that is tons of bombs were dropped, de bombes, uh, sous leur were people injured and died? Y a-t-il eu des blessés et des morts? You touch upon the issue, but I Vous would like you to clarify a little bit further. Uh, you mais said the cattle died. Vous aviez dit about que des bêtes ont été tués, mais qu'en est-il des pertes humaines? As for human lives. Réponse. When we were in the village and we weren't, was not Sur aware of the bombardment in the village, we were not aware of the bombardment in the certain villages and died. Ont été blessés et sont morts. But the bombardment in 1969. That is, euh, dans le courant de l'année 69, after the continuation of a bombardment, we learned the après, oh, we get used to it. Enfin, pendant la période so de bombardement, when there was bombardment in the village, we would flee, flee village, into the jungle, dans la jungle, and we would uh, avoid uh, any injury. Et ainsi, on But as for the, the cattle, the cattle bétail, lui, were grazing in the rice field, and uh, they died. Et, euh, ils sont morts. So usually uh, at that big rice field after the, we have wasted the crops, Donc, the cattle récolte, were left there. On envoyait le bétail. And yes, a lot of the cattle died as a result of the bombardment. Et that was the second phase. C'était dans la deuxième phase des bombardements. And the third bombardment, la troisième which was in 1973, phase de bombardement en 1973, dans le village de Tangan, une big family, une composing of 31 members, famille, 31, was completely 31 personnes, killed. a été tuée. And they tuée. were my relatives. C'était des parents à moi. Thank you. La défense. Merci. During the heavy bombardment by the Americans in Watanakiri Province, lourd bombardement mené par les Américains Did you observe any American infantry or Vietnamese troops or any other soldiers entered into Watanakiri Province and make their base there, or they just dropped the bombs and they left? Des soldats ont établi des bases au Ratanakiri ou ont-ils simplement largué des bombes? After the bombardments, uh, they would uh, go back, but I did not know where Après they would return. Après les bombardements, return. ils rentraient, mais je ne sais pas où ils allaient. I only heard uh, from other people that they returned return to their base in Preynoko. Retournaient dans leur base à Preynoko. Or maybe uh, they return to their base in Tapao, that is uh, in Thailand. C'est en Thailand.
1966 they made their base in two locations one was at Nyan village au village à deux endroits au village de Nyan I refer to the American infantry they made their base in that village américain ils ont établi une base dans ce village and another base was made at the Tanga village but they did not stay for long ne sont pas restés longtemps par contre From what we knew, at that time, and that's the information uh, second hand, Donc, ce que su, je that su, uh, the Vietnamese troops actually shot down six uh, planes. Les Vietnamiens ont abattu six avions. So at that time, they were also bombarding uh, the Vietnamese uh, troops and also encroaching in our Cambodian territory. Et, uh, Thank you. You've been here on uh, several days now uh, testifying before this court. And as you always uh, refer to Pol Pot as a uh, bong, bong Pol Pot, faites, or brother, à Pol Pot dans le cadre de votre déposé, votre or brother number one, and Nguyen Chi as a brother Pol number Pot. two. Bong numéro un. Can you clarify why you refer to Pol Pot as a brother number one, Pourquoi and Nguyen Chi as brother number two? Is it a well-known fact, or it is a your a custom, or your personal habit in calling them such a title? Pourquoi les appelez-vous avec... Let me clarify this point, says the witness. Bon, Laissez-moi apporter une précision. Donc, pray, when we were in the jungle, we, I did not refer to them by such a title. Les pas comme ça. At, at that time, I call him Bong. À la, à l'époque, je l'appelais Bong. However, starting from 1974, Mais à partir de 1974, that is after Udong Province or après la libération de Udong, I actually heard uh, Bong Pong. J'ai entendu Bong. Pong, saying that Om Pol Pot, dire que Om Pol Pot was now known as uh, connu Om Number One and Om Nuan Chia Om was known as Om Number Two. Om Nuan Chia and from that on, it was known as Number One and Number Two. De ce moment-là, ils étaient connus comme numéro because un et numéro we deux. did not want to uh, refer to them by using the name. The real name. So we just use uh, Om number one and Om, Om number two. On a dit Om Thank you. So it means uh, the title brother number one and number two were designated by Pong. Is that correct? Pong leur a donné. C'est exact. I did not know whether it was Pong. Je ne sais pas si c'est Pong who came up with such a title. But as Pong was uh, our superior, Pong and that's what he, he told me, et ce il dit. I did not know whether Om Om themselves uh, designated si such Om a title Om and pass it on to him. Dit, Thank you. On choisit ce surnom et lui, lui en ont fait part. Since mid 1973, look. Question. Did you know whether the Khmer Rouge troops fought si and reached the Kampong Cham provincial town? Khmer Rouge se sont battus et se sont rendus jusqu'à se sont rendus jusqu'à la ville de Kampong Cham. Yes, I knew about that. La réponse, oui, je l'ai su. 
at that time, the one of the main uh, target was to li liberate Kampong Thoma province. Because uh, après, sur, there is a, a, a location called Tropeang Wang, which was a, a vast uh, location. Une cible. Il y avait But un then du nom de the troops Wang. were transferred to attack uh, the other location donc, in 1973. Uh, en 1973, les soldats ont été transférés pour attaquer un endroit afin de libérer that, uh, location. cet endroit. And we were in control of all the textile Et factories at the time. Toutes les usines de textile. And with another spearhead coming from Et the river. Une autre, euh, un autre groupe d'avant-garde qui euh, arrivait par la rivière. I passed through the, the area at the time. Moi, je suis passé par là, à cette époque. And the there was a fighting in a Kampong Cham province. Des combats Those Kampong troops Cham. coming from Rotanakiri, mainly they were ethnic minorities. Kiri, they, 60 of them died and they buried, they were buried at a Stum Trang location. Et ont, et ont été and they actually built a small memorial et symbol in respect of those ethnic minority soldiers who died. Au, au de ces soldats issus de minorités Thank you. qui sont morts. What I want to know is in regards to the uh, refugees that is after the intensified attack at the Kampong Cham provincial town those residents in the provincial town and in the nearby vicinity were gathered up did you know what happened to them or where they had been taken to les de Kampong Cham ont été rassemblés savez-vous où ils ont été envoyés during the fight uh, at the Kampong Cham provincial town pendant les combats au, dans la ville de Kampong Cham. It seems that there had been no evacuation as we Il did not uh, control the town uh, for long. Car nous n'avons pas gardé le contrôle de la ville pendant bien longtemps. And then the, the nous people nous sommes retirés. came to uh, came back into town. Et les we were in control retirés. only for a short period of time. Nous n'avons eu le contrôle de la ville que pendant une courte période. During the attack on uh, Kampong Cham provincial town, were senior leaders, including uh, Nguyen Chi, Pol Pot, and Son Sen, uh, where were they? The assault on Kampong Cham, there were senior leaders, Nguyen Chi, and other senior leaders. Where were they? Om Pol Pot, Om Nguyen Chi, Om Pol Pot, Om Nguyen Chi. were in the office near office uh, S71 because at that time S71. there were many uh, mobile offices Il y avait à plusieurs bureaux mobiles. as for Son Sen Quant à Son Sen he was at Bok Nau lui, il était à Bokna. That was his headquarters Son there. quartier général était là-bas. Question. So during Question. the intensified attack on the Kampong Cham provincial town, was it uh, commanded by Son Sen himself? Était -ce Son Sen qui assurait le commandement? Because the soldiers or the troops the were be, or belongs to the Son center. Linda. And relevé du centre and the 304 et de la division 304 et de thank you l'interprète corrige now uh, i move on to 304. another uh, topic 
during the past few days uh, that you have been défense. testifying before sujet. this uh, chamber, it seems that you were so close to Om Nun Chia. Lors de votre comparution, il and to have worked uh, with him, probably as much as you have worked uh, with uh, Pol Pot. Nun Chia, que vous avez travaillé avec because uh, you always mentioned when there was Pol Pot, uh, there would be a Pol Pot and a kill some pawn. Pol My Pol question Pol is the following: Did you know Nun Chia well? Connaissiez-vous bien? That is uh, his uh, behavior, his son attitude, son attitude, and everything else, or his, Et yes, I mean his sa, personality. Sa personality. Since I uh, had known him, I considered him as one of the leaders that I loved and respect, and that I would serve him from the bottom of my heart. When it, he, when it comes to his uh, personality, he is an educated person. He is humble and Il gentle, and he knew about the Buddhist disciplines. Il la he was discipline well educated into Buddhist religion. Il That's bien how la I observed. C'est ce que j'ai remarqué. Uh, question. Okay. Some people allege that uh, Mr. Nunji is a cruel person, a person of barbaric nature, although he was educated, and that Nunji ordered uh, to ordered uh, the arrest and execution of some people. According to your knowledge, and as you already indicated about his personality, characteristic, uh, was he the person as alleged? The president intervenes. A witness is now instructed not to respond to the question because it is not in the capacity of the witness to respond to a question that uh, is to express his own view because he is not an expert on this. Council, thank you, Mr. President. I may now proceed to another question. Laissez-moi donc passer à une autre question. Uh, you already testified Donc before the chamber that uh, you attended uh, meetings and study sessions with senior leaders. Auquel avait aussi participé des hauts, des hauts dirigeants. Did you ever hear -vous jamais that uh, these senior leaders entendu? in these study sessions or meetings, including Paul Pot, Nguyen Chia, Chia Chris and Pon, talked about smash, about arrest, et, et all sort of things like this? Response. I attended study sessions and already stated time and again that uh, during study sessions we were briefed on the internal and external situation, the 
organizational aspect, the victories over this and that battle, and that uh, there were progressive cooperatives in this location and in that location. When it comes to documents relevant to smashing people in the study sessions, I do not recollect having seen or being handed out such documents. We were indeed taught in the sessions on how to find out our weaknesses and strengths and uh, we were asked uh, to be open to criticism and be criticized by others and that uh, we need uh, to um, correct ourselves after being criticized and uh, extract experience, uh, lessons learned from the sessions. Council, thank you. On the 18th and 19th of April 1975, when the troops attacked Phnom Penh, at that time, uh, Phnom Penh was attacked by the, uh, the army, by the troops, and you already uh, stated uh, about this. My question to you is, uh, were you aware where Nguyen Chia was located uh, during that time? Did you join the other commanders in the attack or you were elsewhere? Respond. I already told the court on this that on Pol Pot was at the uh, Tao office before the attack of Phnom Penh happened. Om Nguyen Chia was at the other side of the river because there were a few offices, uh, offices at Thnal Bambag and also at uh, Y1. Also, there was an office in 74 location, but I did not know where he was located. I remember that immediately after the attack, everyone met in a gathering. Question. May I seek a point of clarification? When the attack happened in Phnom Penh, you went to Phnom Penh with uh, Son Sen. So my question is, do you know where Nguyen Chia was at that time. Indeed, you said that he could have been in other location, although you don't have enough information on this, but uh, where was he at that time? Response. I don't have any information to support uh, my knowledge of where he was, except uh, where Pol Pot was, which I know. Council, thank you. Mr. Witness, you knew Sun Sen very well. Sun Sen Sun Sen was the Minister of National Defense and National Security. Sun Sen was the Minister. Yang Sari was the Minister of Foreign Affairs. But the second person in command to uh, Sun Sen was So Hong. Right. Uh, says uh, Council, I would like to know who was in the second uh, command uh, from or to Son Sen. L'interprète se reprend. J'aimerais savoir qui était le second de Son Sen.
Response. Réponse. There were people like bong mate, bong tin, bong nat, bong pip, bong pip, and bong serun fourteen, and bong san. In the military, there are a lot of other people who was under the supervision of Son Sen. Du côté militaire, il y avait Council. beaucoup de gens qui Thank étaient you. sous l'autorité de Son Sen. Son Sen had a few people, as you indicated, to help him Quand when indiqué, uh, he was Sen absent from work. Sur when Son Sen went gens, to uh, the East absence, on mission, indeed when mission, uh, there was uh, attack and when help uh, was needed in Donc the east, uh, Son Sen had to go there. Did you know that uh, Son Sen went to the east? Response. Yes, I Réponse. did. He oui, stayed at Suong. Later Et on, he was relocated Sung. to Kampong Cham. Il s'est installé à Kampong Cham. Council, thank you. Le when Son Sen merci. went to the east, Lorsque according to your Son knowledge, was anyone appointed to be in his place in his absence? In particular, to help him uh, cover the security, national defense matters. Gérer les affaires de sécurité et de défense nationale. Response. I don't know about this Réponse. because we worked uh, at uh, different ministries. Car nous ne travaillons pas au même ministère. Council, thank you. I have another question to you. Merci. Une autre question à vous poser. You testified that uh, you were on mission with Pol Pot to China. Que vous avez Pol Pot, uh, en Chine. When with Pol Pot and other delegates in China, vous étiez avec what, Pol Pot what et were you? What did you uh, in what capacity did you go there? Ce voyage, quel était votre rôle? Response. Réponse. I went there in my capacity as a person who went to study how things like housing was managed in that country, how tourism uh, was uh, managed. Uh, it's more like um, a trip to study how visitors would be received and welcomed. This is what Ying Sari uh, told me. Uh, I was told to keep my eyes open on, on how people managed uh, uh, tourists and the visitors. La he would like me to have some knowledge of uh, things um, managed in a foreign country. Question. When you went there with Pol Pot during the Pot, trip, Indeed, when the delegates uh, met uh, with senior leaders of uh, the China, did you also Chinois? accompany them to such meeting? Les avez -vous Response, no, I didn't uh, attend non, that meeting because I... I only attended sessions where movies uh, were shown. Uniquement à des 
séance de projection de film. Question. Question. There was a meeting uh, before April 1975 on Info the evacuation of the population from Phnom Penh. You talked uh, to the court already that uh, there was uh, support from Nun Chi Kiu Som Pon and other senior leaders. Members of the meeting applauded in the meeting to approve the plan to evacuate uh, the population from Phnom Penh. My question is, after such applaud uh, by the members, uh, was the meeting concluded immediately or did it go on? Response. The meeting was concluded uh, by lunch time. La réunion s'est terminée à l'heure du déjeuner. Question. Question. Was there on another occasion that a follow-up meeting was convened to discuss about the evacuation? Autre réunion pour la suite pour parler de l'évacuation faisant suite à cette première Response. réunion. No, uh, in the another meeting, no. evacuation was no longer the subject matter of the meeting. L'évacuation n'était plus abordée dans d'autres réunions par la suite. Question. Question. Did you, or were you aware, or heard uh, uh, that uh, Pol Pot uh, or Nguyen Chi and Kiel Sun Pon talk about the division, the classification of people, uh, or the population, officially or de unofficially? De la population dans Response. différentes catégories I never heard et of que this. ceci était never. dit de manière officielle ou officieuse. Réponse, non, je n'ai jamais entendu de telles choses. Council, thank you. La Défense, merci. Can you tell the court Pourriez-vous nous dire uh, in the ministry Au sein du ministère of Foreign Affairs, Ian Sari would be the secretary of the party and deputy uh, secretary uh, would be So Hong. Le du parti, le um, so Hong. My question is whether in other ministry, non, question, whether the same structure si would be uh, applied uh, as uh, that of the ministry of Foreign Affairs or each different ministry would just follow their own random structure or structure? leur euh, propre structure euh, euh, comme bon leur semblait. Response. Réponse. Through my observation and through what I heard from friends uh, in other ministries, the organizational structure appeared to be the same. La structure euh, de l'organisation semblait être la même. Council. Thank you. 
to the best of your recollection and knowledge of working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And as a senior individual in the Ministry, did you know that uh, these senior people were educated people who uh, were emanating from the Grung? Is that true? Étaient des personnes instruites qui avaient fait partie du groupe. Est-ce exact? Response: Yes, it is. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Question. Apart from Question. the senior. Officers uh, from Grung uh, created uh, by Sihanouk. Uh, and are the Khmeru senior officers who were assigned from the Khmeru side, did they work or uh, get along together at the ministry when working? Donc il y avait euh, les responsables des Khmer Rouges et euh, les hauts responsables du Groupe qui Response. travaillaient ensemble au ministère. Euh, S'entendait-il The work went smoothly. People Réponse. were friendly. Le travail se passait bien. They il were cooperative. There was no problem. Les gens collaboraient. Il n'y a pas eu de problème. Council Sonarun, I have uh, about two more questions uh, to put to the witness. Mr. Witness, you Monsieur testified uh, on the 30th of uh, July, which was yesterday, to the councils for the civil parties that at uh, different locations people were uh, treated differently. Some people received uh, some rice uh, for their meal. Some were offered uh, rice uh, or porridge. Alors que se du gruau. And you said that you uh, saw this and reported to Ying Sari. And vous on some occasions, uh, you met uh, directly with Om number one and told him about this. And he said that uh, such a report should be uh, put uh, or raised uh, in the cell criticism session instead. My Question is that uh, the party, uh, rather Pol Pot, uh, was of the opinion that uh, the cooperatives uh, could have uh, decent Pot, food to eat, and that this happened. Uh, was it the direct uh, order from the superior, or was it the just arbitrary decision by each uh, leader of the cooperative to treat their uh, members of cooperative Response. With regard to this, there was no instruction from the superior. People supposed to have enough food to eat, that what would be the simple instruction. In Ratanakiri, we did farming, and we were told to be self-sufficient, self-mastery, and uh, we had to control what uh, we uh, did. For example, like uh, uh, charity begins at home. 
We had to really care for ourselves first uh, before we care for others. But uh, but what I saw was not really the same as what uh, was agreed. I just challenged uh, this practice because I referred to the document and I said that uh, if this thing happened at the cooperatives, then uh, it was against uh, uh, the core principle because I saw that people ate uh, porridge uh, with just a few or mixed uh, with uh, water lily. And I knew that uh, people were badly treated, uh, and it was not really in the intention of the party to mistreat the people, and why people were still mistreated. So I uh, believe that these people were not those who were the honest uh, followers of the party's policy. They could have been just a few people who would like to ruin the party. That's why they did so to their people. And I noted that it was against uh, the line set uh, by the party. That's why I shared my concern in the meeting. Council, thank you. Time changes Merci. from 1970 to 1975. Entre 1975 and from 1975 to early 1979, according to your best recollection, to the northeast zone. D'après vos souvenirs. My question is that during the period from 1975 to 1979, I said there was a change during that period of time. Were there any Vietnamese troops attacking Cambodia, or were there any Cambodian troops attacking the Vietnamese troops in Vietnam. Uh, what is your impression uh, on this? Attacker les troupes au Vietnam. Que savez-vous à ce sujet? Response. Réponse. In Rotanakiri province. Dans la province de Rotanakiri. The location was uh, is adjacent to. Uh, Cambodian Vietnam border. From nineteen seventy through nineteen seventy eight, entre I did not go to Dratanakiri during the time when I worked with them. However, during the three-year period, my in-law, who was holding a senior position there, he was a member of the Northeast Zone, and I met him in Phnom Penh. I talked to him, I asked him some questions about the situation there, and he said, before Vietnam had uh, conflict with us, uh, they asked uh, us to uh, offer them refuge at the Dragon's Tail area. However, after the liberation, Vietnam never gave back the land, and the land is still under the control or in possession of the Vietnamese. And this is the location where I stated I ferry letters uh, to people in the barracks in the location. It belonged to Cambodia, but now it's in the possession of the Vietnamese. And uh, we uh, understood uh, 
that uh, Vietnamese asked uh, us uh, to offer them refuge Nhưng on Cambodian territory, but they would give us back after uh, some time. Uh, but later on, they never de, wanted to give uh, us back the land. Que, uh, and at the Oya Dao, along the Se San River, uh, there was also fighting, Sainte, fighting that took place in Cambodian soil. Sur le territoire cambodgien. The Vietnamese just said that uh, any land on the other Les side of the Sesan River belonged to them. So this happened only after the liberation. They did never say so before the liberation. And I had a lot of family and relatives who lived uh, in villages uh, in the, those uh, areas. I went there in 2012. 10 to Preku Yalai, and I asked uh, questions to people about this, and they said uh, that this uh, Khmer land now is uh, Vietnamese land, because uh, after the liberation of 1979, uh, they could uh, take any line, uh, land uh, they would uh, prefer, because they could really bring their whole troops to uh, sit uh, to, to grab uh, the land. I just wish uh, to tell you the details of how I uh, got to know uh, what happened in the, uh, those locations. And uh, the evidence can be substantiated uh, by my relatives who are still living there. I think this is political issue. I talked to them that it was about politics. You did not need to uh, think about it. We just do farming. That's all. That's what I told my relatives about. Council, uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I think I have no further questions to put to the witness. Uh, Since Monsieur it is Prima, now lunch break, may uh, we uh, proceed to uh, my colleague uh, with questions uh, after the adjournment. Uh, the President, uh, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Mr. Witness. Uh, Since it is now appropriate Prima. time for the lunch Monsieur adjournment, uh, we may now adjourn for lunch, and the next uh, session will be resumed uh, by 1.30. Court officer is now instructed to assist a witness in his duty council during the lunch adjournment and have the witness and counsel return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. Counsel for Nunchia, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good, good, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, very briefly, I'm just on my feet to make our usual requests. I'm informed that my client is suffering from lower back pain, a headache, and lack of concentration. Accordingly, he would like to follow the proceedings attempt to follow the proceedings from the holding cell this afternoon. And one more, one more point on, on this issue, uh, further to a conversation or a discussion or some submissions that were made on the record on Thursday, and I'm referring specifically to something Judge Cartwright said, uh, the responsibility, I'm quoting now, the responsibility is yours to raise this issue, that's the issue of, of, of a lack of active participation. The responsibility is yours to raise this issue if uh, your client at any point is unable to participate, and I note that uh, my colleague, Major Sonnerun, made that point yesterday uh, in the morning session. I would just like to note for the record and perhaps for the purpose of any future application on this point, which may need to be made, I am informed that for a period of time yesterday afternoon and also for a period of time on Thursday afternoon, our client was not actively participating in the proceedings. And again, let me make it very clear, I'm not criticizing the facilities um, that have been made available to us. I'm just saying that um, that's, that's a fact. And I hope and I trust that the Chamber appreciates the difficulty that this may present to us when we're trying to engage in a meaningful way with our client. Um, as I said, that's, that's, that's all I have to say. I'd just like to put that on the record. We may come back to it later. Thank you. Avec notre client sur le sujet. Bref, je voulais qu'il soit soit dit officiellement et il est possible que nous en que nous l'évoquions à l'avenir.
The President, uh, National, uh, International Council for Mr. Noon, could you please uh, clarify your position? Please be more precise on this. Uh, please uh, make your statement clear and simple so that the parties uh, to the proceeding understand what you are uh, you're wishing to have because uh, we appear to also uh, have a problem in uh, noting your clarity in your statement and also we would like to know now whether it is still uncertain in your statement when you're on your feet. Uh, we just would like to know whether it is an application concerning your uh, the request uh, that Moon Chia waives his right to participate in the proceeding or whether um, there is any problem in the holding cells uh, because the chamber needs uh, this uh, clear position so that we can rule whether he has to remain in the courtroom all along or should be returned to the holding cell. And again, please be short and precise. Please try not to make any other statement that is not relevant to Mr. Nguyen Chi, a, a situation to uh, participate in the uh, proceedings. So please uh, fulfill your role as a counsel representing your client at all stages before the chamber. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I, will, I will do my best. It, it is my, my fault indeed for not being clear. Let me state very clearly, Mr. Nguyen Chia is now suffering from a backache, a headache, and a genuine lack of concentration. The application we make now is that he would like to follow the proceedings from the holding cell this afternoon, and we've prepared the usual waiver. Full stop. The second point, the second point I wanted to raise is a more general one, and in that sense, I'm simply trying to make a record and notify the chamber pursuant to the way I understood the instruction from Judge Cartwright that it's my responsibility to put these things on the record. Yesterday, for some period of the afternoon, and Thursday, for some period of the afternoon, our client, I'm informed, was not actively able to participate from the holding cell. Now, I'm simply flagging that, I'm flagging that to make a record for a possible future application. And what I was saying was, I hope, I hope and I trust the Chamber sees the potential difficulty of our client experiencing periods of time where he's not able to actively participate. And I'm simply making a record on that point. Today he's waiving his right. We've taken instructions. We're prepared for our questions. Today he's happy to retire to the holding cell. I'm simply trying to make a record for the future. Does that clarify things, Mr. President? Judge Cartwright shaking her head. Could I give you some more information, Judge Cartwright? The President, the Chamber grants the request 
Nun Chie can now observe the proceedings Nun from his holding cell for the remainder of the day. The chamber notes that Mr. Nun Chie has waived his right to directly participa uh, participate in the courtroom. The chamber asks that counsel for Nun Chie produce the waiver signed or given some print by Mr. Nun Chie and have it submitted uh, to the chamber as soon as possible. And the AV booth officers are now instructed to ensure that the uh, holding cell is well linked to the audiovisual uh, equipment so that he can observe the proceedings from there. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Nguyen Chi and Kyo Son Pong to their respective holding cell and bring Kyo Son Pong back to the courtroom by 1.30. The court is adjourned.